Hey, what's up? Welcome to Webdramatics. This is Subhendu Bhatt and in today's video, I will show you a tool that I have built for designing and generating API. So let's uh, let me give you a demo about it and talk about it in detail. So let's jump into the browser. All right. So this is a tool for generating API. So this is similar to the code generator that is available at, at webdramatics.com. You can uh, use this code editor to generate your simple Laravel project. And this tool is similar to that and just focused on API. And it does much more like it can simply create the CRUD out of the box. And here currently it is on local, my local environment. I will put that up on Webdramatics in a couple of days. Here you can create new projects, Laravel project. Let's uh, let me create invoice API submit it you can create new model let's say invoice description string let's say total amount let's say integer or let's say decimal two digit save it and create another model for invoice items so inside invoice there will be some items uh, let's say name of the item and price or quantity of item quantity will be integer and price of item save it there we go and you can add other you get the idea you can add as many model as you want so after that you can define the relationship so uh, invoice can contain items as many items save it there we go we got the relationship and now if you if you want to just generate the project after you are all done with generating models and then you can do just generate and download project and it will give you instruction about how you can generate it you can do Composer install, generate key, migrate the newly created migrations, and then serve it. Also, uh, Sanctum is already installed, but you have to add this as API tokens in user model if you are planning to use Sanctum for API authentication. And also, if you want to generate login register views on your project, you can you have to manually install Laravel Bridge or Jetstream, Jetstream, whatever you prefer. And now let's download the project. All right, so once everything is ready, uh, we have to generate and download project. So uh, previously I've just done here two. We need to supply both uh, up to 10 uh, digit and after decimal, there will be two point that will be significant. So once that is done and now we can generate and download project, all the instructions are here and download project. We can get this invoice API. So we have to extract this. So I've been just doing some experiment. Yeah, so here we have to extract the downloaded pack, downloaded project. Okay, so this is our project. We can rename it whatever we want. Invoice, let's say API and open this up on VS code. So let me make it a bit bigger and also change the theme to dark. All right, so now we need to open our terminal and with first thing we need to uh, install all the dependencies. So it is fresh Laravel project. Composer install. So while it's installing, let me show you what are the code that is generated by our tool. So if you go inside controller, there is API folder. Here you can get the invoice controller and item controller. So if you see uh, this control is not a normal controller, this is the Orion controller. So in last video, I uh, showed you the Orion about Orion, uh, which will help us to generate API very quickly. S uh, so I've used that behind the scenes to generate all the CRUD and 
and another thing we got is we have if you see inside http we got all the request invoice requests uh, things that are required items so item related uh, requests as well also if you see inside uh, what else uh, we got controller and inside routes all routes are also defined orion route yeah that should be fine uh, for generating api we have also invoice model with relationship defined items everything in place okay composer install is done so next thing we need to do is uh, we need to configure our dot env and put the database there dot env so i already got database with la name laravel so you can create new one i have i'm using this tool to create new database it's idsql so let's say invoice invoice api okay database created and replace this here so first thing so with this project we got all migrations for newly created model there we go all right so first thing we have to do is php artisan migrate which will create all the tables and so this also gives us factory all right okay so next thing we need to do is we need to run php artisan serve to see this in browser so let's open this up so get request we can test it directly on browser but for so it is saying that uh, your app key is missing we need to run this command we can directly run from here as well now we can refresh pretty cool yeah so if we visit api slash invoice we should see the invoice route uh, all right so invoice controller doesn't exist so route definition is slightly changed in laravel 8 so that's why we need to do like this same thing for invoice and item controller so everything else is same for laravel 8 just route definition you need to update it like so and import this up same thing import this up like this all right so now if we visit api slash invoice we can get all the invoice let's see refresh there we go so currently there is no data let's create some data so we haven't touched any controller but we can directly do all of the crud operation how cool is that so let's go to insomnia you can use postman as well so here create new request or you can create new folder called invoice and you can store all invoice related endpoint in this folder and create new request uh, request name is store actually this store is post request to this endpoint api invoice and we have to pass the body uh, let's pass it as json and our invoice uh, model contains uh, let's go to invoice model invoice what fields we got yeah we got uh, total amount description so these two fields need to be filled uh, let's go and let's go ahead and do that so description first invoice okay that should be uh, okay for creating new invoice let's send this request and see what it does yeah so it is successful and we have created new invoice and now let's list invoice right click new index get request send it there we go now we can get all the invoice like so so if you see this controller behind the scenes all methods are hidden inside this orion controller okay so here we got all the method for index like this for performing fetch for doing store 
and all related stuff so you can uh, directly copy this into your you can override them in your controller by copying that from there and putting their invoice controller all right so this is the basic uh, demo about this tool this is still on development so I, I just wanted to share with you this will help a lot for uh, generating simple CRUD and after that you can download the project and work on it uh, it will save uh, quite a lot of time for starting a new project so hope you like this video and I will see you on another video bye